and subscribe please don't forget to like and subscribe click that bell button also if you are in other social media don't forget to uh, follow me in tiktok and twitter so that you get all the latest video about um, how to do and a lot of things and option trading stocks and overall market so today's topic is basically i'm gonna show you how do you find a spread right so thinkorswim has this really nice feature where you can actually search what are the spreads going on it doesn't really doesn't mean like you just go there search and buy it but it just gives you some idea what other people's are buying uh, what are the spreads and things like that right so uh, so this is thinkorswim uh, if you have not uh, kind of uh, you don't have you can download it's free you can just make an account you can even make a paper account and just download free and actually search and do whatever you want to do even if you are trading in something else so let's get it started right so you have different tabs so you first go to the scan tab right S scan tab you can see that we have stock hacker option hacker spread hacker we are talking about spread hacker so we we will um, maybe uh, go over option hacker and stock ha hacker on some other days so let's get it started right now you can see that you have this uh, click um, plus to add a spread uh, filter right so you want to filter so let's add the first filter so first filter we want to do you have a lot of things you can do uh, but uh, let's um, uh, let's look at the underlying price right so we don't want to really do options and really cheap stock so we want to grab something um, a little bit you know decent amount again doesn't mean cheaps are really bad but uh, usually you know you and some with the uh, some uh, good companies right so underlying fifty dollars and max it just let's leave it so uh, we'll have um, anything right so that's underlying if we scan this you will actually get a lot of the right you can see b b v r k l v s r c l and whatnot right it's huge so you gotta your goal should be to kind of you know um, your goal should be basically kind of the, make it better and better uh, so uh, now once you have that once you have that what you can do is you can add another filter right so yeah days to expiration so you are looking maybe whatever term looking let's say you are looking for the weekly or something right so you want to put like maybe four or five days to maybe you know uh, 15 days so you don't see you don't want to see all those like leaps and whatnot right so you want to see whatever your criteria would be you can just add it and just uh, keep scanning right so this is spread um, and now now uh, let's say you want to see you can always use delta you can use front volumes uh, but let's let's look at the probability of profit right you want something where you have pretty high probability of profit but the thing is like if the probability of profit is almost 100 your premium will be really less right so you can kind of let's say you want something around maybe you know uh, 65 percent so you will get decent to maybe uh, 75 uh, 80 yeah like 80 percent right so if you do that then you can kind of uh, 65 to 80 uh, it's kind of taking since there's so many i think um, so there are so many of these uh, that's uh, right so now you can see that you have pretty much uh, a lot of options right you have a lot of like uh, you can actually do like uh, let's say you can actually do calendar you can choose like let's say if you are looking for vertical just select vertical uh, and uh, it will just show you vertical only uh, and uh, uh, basically you can do kind of you know top 10 uh, percent gain or if you want like some a really active one you can search by industries uh, you can search by you can search by so many things so it's it's a really good good idea it kind of gives you a good overall idea what's going on and you can always like uh, i would not suggest just search this you see the stock and just buy there right you you want to go a little bit further uh, i'm not sure if the market is open that's why or something but it's kind of slow okay right now right you have sell um it's showing a credit uh credit spread so if i do this it's so debit you can kind of yeah you have you can short it by different uh, uh different things and you have a lot of things right you can actually like uh, uh clear select okay uh, not sure what is pin i guess you can actually you can actually trade uh, right from here to yeah create an order you can actually create an order but you can even analyze it right so let's let's analyze something like uh, yeah apple right so you we have an apple 
so we can actually do is analyze order right so you, you can actually analyze like what are the probability of profit so what's the volatility and whatnot so if you look at that this is apple i think i did twice 22 yeah cause it was a spread so we can just uh, click this yeah you have a sell you have a buy 3638 right uh, so 3638 call so uh, so 36 you can see that what's the probability of profit you can actually see that right for 21 Jan so basically there is like 82 uh, percent 82 percent uh, it will be uh, below this basically uh, it will be probably 117 to 138 that's that's uh, that's one delta uh, so you can actually that's two delta almost you can actually see what's the probability and how where you can set it up and where you can find you'll see a lot with the good volumes and whatnot right so it gives you kind of overall idea and you can kind of deep dive into it and kind of pick the which one is good one yeah if you have any question or comments i'll probably gonna make one detailed video on this but if you have any question or comment let me know but that's it for today don't forget to like and subscribe thank you